So if you remember this model, this model when we exported it, let me go here, run. It has every single pane of curtain wall that was exported, right, one by one. So let me turn off the shades here so they don't show up in 3D so it can be easier. So that's one thing. The other thing is uh, let's maybe work on, on a single level. Let me go to level one and uh, just make the other two invisible. So this is instruction, this is instruction, this is instruction. This is all the instruction rooms. This one is not, this is a conference room. So all these instruction rooms, probably you want it to be a single room, right? When, when you model. And this is not only ISV, maybe in other, not only Equest, in other software, you might want to also to do that. We will introduce the concept of uh, zone versus a space for uh, Open Studio users. Um, so that's something to come. But for now, if you want to merge them for geometry, the command to do that is this command uh, called merge rooms. And it has several options. Uh, if you run it as is, uh, and this merge distance, if, if the model is clean, you can put it to zero. If the model is not clean, you have a lot of things going on, then you want a larger number. Maybe I'll show it at the end of this video's series, like how to make a perimeter, you know, core perimeter uh, for, for, you know, a single floor. Or maybe I'll just show it here, I don't know. So now if I run it as is, what happens is it joins all this thing, but it keeps the wall as they are and it keeps all the windows and these shades should not show up in selection. So that's an issue on our end that we have to solve. So you see all the walls and you see all the windows. So that's not necessarily what you, what you want in most cases, right? You want when you simplify them, you want these windows to be simplified too. So if you want that, if I press Ctrl Z and select this and uh, go again back here to merge, merge distance, merge rooms, I can join walls if I want and I can simplify windows. So let me do simplify windows without joining walls. So what will happen is they will be merged and each series of windows inside the wall will be simplified in the center, right? If I want it to be simplified all the way, so again, I can press Ctrl Z, select this, <coughs> then merge room, and then I'm going to join faces and simplify windows at the same time. So if I do that and visualize this, now you can see everything goes to be very simple and, and goes all the way to a single window. So that's one uh, to keep in mind. Let me select this room. Um, see how it looks like. Okay, so this has a bunch of windows here too. So sometimes uh, you don't want to simplify rooms, right? You just want to simplify window. So if you want to do that, the command here is, so this was repair window. There is another one for simplify window. So this has many options here. Uh, you can set the merge distance between the windows. You can say if you want to create a single window per facade. You can delete the interior windows if any, you know, you can ignore uh, skylights and ignore windows. So let me run it as is and then visualize it. So what happened, you see like how you basically picked and uh, simplified the windows as it could. So let me do Control Z, visualize it back again. So you can see how it looked like. So now let me go here and make this smaller for you, like 005. So if it only merges if the distance between the windows are five centimeters. And then if I did my measurement right, you should see that these ones that were closer are merged, but these ones that had the distance larger than that, five centimeters, are not merged. Now, in most cases, again, I press Ctrl Z. In most cases, you, you usually want to have, like, really simplify this. Then you can select, go here, and select single window. So this kind of, like, going to ignore this merge distance. 
and now if I run this and visualize it you'll see that it's just like goes all the way and simplifies it all the way so again like if you do this uh, be careful if you have interior windows so you want to do this simplification before solving a JCC right otherwise if you do that after solve a JCC if you have solved a JCC here for this interior windows that you had now you will get errors between the two because the windows between this these rooms are not going to match anymore so again depending on your workflow and how much you want to simplify stuff you should consider that you see this will happen so now the windows between these two are not matching anymore and that will be an error uh, if you do solve a JCC we will automatically uh, figure out how to match them but you know you want to be intentional uh, about what you're trying to do so yes if you so now I can go ahead and go back and don't do all this uh, simplify windows I go all the way back to uh, where I ran join rooms so now my windows should be back to what it used to be yep so the windows are good um, so now I can if I want to export this to uh, to eQuest I want to run solve a JCC for all the floors of course right uh, you want to make sure you do that uh, because that's something that you want in eQuest for interior wall versus exterior wall uh, and then you have several options I'm not going to run ceiling edges here I'll do it during the export so if I if I go ahead and export to eQuest which is an IMP file I have the option for HVAC mapping we support two different versions of uh, eQuest and I can exclude interior walls and exclude interior ceilings during the uh, export and here is the ceiling JCC that I was just talking about so you can set it up here so when you're exporting um, to eQuest basically you can simplify uh, the model as you need you can run the solve JCC and you can run the solve uh, ceiling JCC during the process and then you click download and that will um, basically export this to eQuest so we covered ISV, we covered uh, export to eQuest, I talked about uh, simplifying windows and how to join rooms. I think the last thing I want to show you is how to do, if you want to do core, uh, perimeter core um, export. And um, with that, we can just finish this series of videos.